This word is crystallization, or perhaps also recrystallization, because chemists always want to get the chemicals they make as pure as possible. And a good way of purifying chemicals is to make crystals of them. When they're in solution, you can have all sorts of impurities. But when they form crystals, the crystals contain a much purer compound than in the solution, and the impurities are left in the solution. Generally, the crystal is a very precise arrangement of molecules, all the same, fitting together like pieces in some sort of construction toy. The impurity has a different shape, so it doesn't fit in properly. Occasionally, you're unlucky and you get an impurity that's the wrong shape, and then you can't get rid of it. And each time you recrystallize the thing, so you make some solution, form some crystals, filter them out, redissolve them, form more crystals, and so on. And each time you crystallize it, you get a purer and purer compound. Sometimes, in the old days, people crystallized thousands of times to get something really pure. Now, the problem is that when you have a solution, even if you want to cool it down, which is the standard way of getting crystals to form, the crystals cannot form unless you give something small, some tiny bit for them to first crystal to form round. And once the first one goes, the whole lot goes. Sometimes it can just be dirt. There is a famous organic chemist here called Perkin who invented the dye called mauve. But he was famous because he had this huge beard. And it was said he was really successful as a chemist because all sorts of bits fell from his beard into the solution and helped the crystals grow in the solution. There are other examples where people sometimes scratch the side of their beaker. This forms tiny fragments of glass so that they also can act as a nucleus for the crystals formed around. One of my friends, David Jones, found a student scratching the wall of the lab with a glass rod. And when he was asked why, he said, because in the instructions it says, scratch the wall with a glass rod to get crystallization. But most chemistry students are much brighter than that. So this is a crystallization of a really concentrated solution, which is used for warming your hands on cold days. So in here, we have a solution, I believe, of sodium acetate. And it's been sitting in my desk drawer for years. Because although it's a very concentrated solution, there's nothing to start it crystallizing. And inside here, there is a small metal disc you can see floating around. And I believe, it may not work, that if we flex this disc, it will be enough to start the thing crystallizing. So let's see what happens. We flex the disc. There, it's going. Can you see the crystals spreading out? And it's getting very warm. Why is it getting warm? It's getting warm because when crystals form, when you bring the ions together, they generate heat. So if you feel it, put your hand down here. It's nice and warm. Oh, yeah. So it's gone almost solid, and you can see lines of crystals that have grown along here. It's now crystallized. So what do you do? If you're rich, you just throw it away. If not, you boil it for some hours in water. The solution gets very hot, and everything redissolves. And then if you allow it to cool slowly, and you've dissolved up all the crystals, it will go into a solution like it was before and can sit in my desk drawer for several more years.